High-level U.S. delegations were briefed at the CTBTO's Vienna headquarters last month on the latest scientific developments to strengthen the network that monitors the globe for nuclear explosions. You will have three presentations here, one on infrasound, one on the noble gas and one on the on-site inspection. Okay, the CTBT is very important because it is a demonstration of how countries can work together on something incredibly challenging technically but also incredibly important for the security of our nation. This is the ability to verify that countries are not conducting underground or above ground nuclear weapons testing. And that's going to only be done by the international community working together. D'Agostino is responsible for management and security of United States nuclear weapons and non-proliferation. The U.S. is committed to the entry into force of the treaty that outlaws all nuclear tests. We believe the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty is an integral part of the non-proliferation and arms control agenda. And the President uh, will work both to seek the advice and consent of the United States Senate to ratify the treaty and to secure ratification by others so that the treaty can finally enter into force. The worldwide network to catch out any cheaters to the treaty is now 80% operational. It already detected tests by North Korea in 2006 and 9. When complete, it will comprise 337 facilities that blanket the globe, ready to detect a nuclear explosion. The stations send data in near real time to Vienna for analysis. I mean, it's important to have treaties, but it's equally important, and some would say more important, to be able to verify that the treaties are in place. We have skeptics on both sides of the aisle, if you will, on these types of questions. But what it takes is technical people, from a variety of backgrounds and communities and countries working together to show that this is not about the East versus the West or North versus South. This is about scientists working together to put together their technical judgment on what's actually happening. It was some of those technical brains that briefed U.S. Energy Secretary and Nobel Physics Laureate Stephen Chu on the latest scientific updates to the monitoring regime. I, I saw two lines. Yeah. And so where do you get directionality? Normally you need, you're using time. The next stop was the radionuclide test station on the roof. Radionuclide monitoring is one of the four technologies the CTBT uses to detect nuclear explosions. It's the smoking gun, if you like, to collect and analyse minuscule particles and gases that pinpoint if a blast was nuclear. The filter, when it comes on the, on the system, is white. Right, OK. This billion-dollar network provides a first-line defence against the development of nuclear weapons.